Hello, everyone. I'm Simone Stanley here with Lake Point Sports. Today, I am joined by Ajay Bulamary. He is the owner of Artillery Baseball based out of New Jersey. So Artillery Baseball has been down at Lake Point recently for the PBR Cup and also the Upper Underclass World Series. Ajay, thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for having me. Of course. So Ajay, y'all came down to Lake Point for the PBR Cup recently for the Underclass World Series. How did those events go for you all? Um, so both events went really great. Um, our 2023 team in the PBR Cup went to the semifinals. And then that event unfortunately got rained out. So, but making it to Monday in the semis is always awesome. And one of the best events probably in the fall that PBR ran. And then the underclass, um, we made it all the way to the finals, played eight games, I believe, and went all the way to the finals and lost to a real good five-star team. So. Can't that's complain awesome. there either. That's awesome. I remember the PBR Cup Championship game got rained out. I came Monday and I was like, "It's where's everybody at?" It was empty out there, so that's definitely unfortunate. Yeah, it was it was raining pretty hard, but I mean, you know, Matt Levin's a great guy, and he I think he made the right call because it ended up raining for about ten hours. So better than just having all those parents with flights to just sit around all day. Definitely. So you guys are based out of New Jersey. What do you think about the baseball product in New Jersey versus how it is down here in Georgia from what y'all have seen? Yep. So like, even though like, we're based on New Jersey, our rosters are built nationally. Um, so like primarily Northeast and upper Midwest kids and a little bit from the Midwest. And like, we have a couple of West Coast guys. Um, I would say that there's a lot of talent up here. And the reason, you know, we assemble the rosters the way we do is to get those um, college coaches down south because there are a lot of kids from the northeast and midwest who want to go to school down south so the only way you do that is by getting them to, to those events definitely you talk about building that roster you guys have some stacked rosters and we're going to get into them in a minute but how do you guys select guys do y'all have a tryout or y'all kind of recruit guys to play for artillery um you know it, it's a lot of word of mouth and you know, it's a lot of recruiting i mean you know we have not held tryouts in the past three years um but, you know, it's about finding the right guys and, you know, the guys who see value in what we're doing and kind of going from there with it. Definitely. So now it's fall. It's cold outside. We're not getting that summer baseball for a while until next year. Going to get things started, ramped up pretty much in March for us. So let's get a little preview of some of your rosters that you guys have for next summer, starting with 17U. Let's go through that roster. Yep, 17U, I mean, uh, you know, we have a catcher in Mark Gialusi going to Boston College. Um, great leader there. Um, the other catcher is going to be Jonathan Fitz. He just came, recently committed to San Diego out of Kentucky. Um, you know, one of their outfielders is Reese Reynolds going to Mississippi State. He's out of the state of Mississippi. Um, you know, our shortstop for the past three years has been um, Chris Okopian. He's going to Wake Forest. Um, Henry Ford going to Virginia. Um, you know, we, we have another UVA kid in, in Marcus LeClaire. Uh, we're really excited to get AJ Gracia back on the mound. He's our Duke commit. You know, and when you add him back into with like with like Cameron Tilly going to Auburn, Tyler Smith going to Auburn, um, Eddie Copper going to South Carolina, JD DeKramer going to Oregon State, um, that team's going to end up being really, really special. Definitely. Sounds like that's a super team. Yeah. <laughs> They're they're one of they're gonna they're gonna compete nationally, I think. So especially with the arms they have, I mean we project to probably have eight to nine, ninety guys and you know, I think our outfield's one of the best in the country and you know, especially with that solid infield, as long as we can hit a little bit, we're gonna be okay. Right. Sounds like it to me as well. So not only do you guys have a stacked 70, 17 U roster, you also have a really well built sixteen U roster as well. Am I right? Yeah, we do. I mean on that group, you know. Um, they're still working to get committed a little bit, but there's a lot of high-end talent guys that, you know, have not been really seen yet. I mean, you know, but on the other hand, you know, you have Kyler Baxter going to Wake. Um, you have Caleb Bonimer going to Virginia. You have Owen Yarusi going to Auburn. So, I mean, that's, that, that roster is going to probably be pretty good as well. And then, you know, you have left-handed arms and um, Logan Harrelson and Caden White, who's one of the top-ranked pitchers out of the state of Indiana, who's also uncommitted. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that team's going to be looking pretty good also. So what do you think the strength of that team is going to be? You said the strength of the other team was going to be the outfield. What do you think the strength of the 16U roster will be? For the 16U roster, I mean, it will pro probably be that middle infield. 
Um, you know, when you have three guys and like I said, the Kale Bonimer kid, you know, he's going to Virginia, you know, Kyler Baxter going to Wake Forest, you have Brady Miller, you have Hunter Toriano. I mean, that infield is going to be rock solid. And then, you know, when we have two, you know, when we have two good catchers and, um, and Trey Martin and Miguel Herb back there, we're going to be okay there too. So, but I would say to me on top of that outfield for the 17, but that's pitching staff for the 17s is probably going to, I would match them up with anyone in the country. That's awesome to hear. So what are some of the tournaments that you're, you and the club is looking forward to the most in 2022 summer? Um, obviously, you know, we'll be going to PBR's National Program Invite. Um, you know, we try to, you know, I love that event last year. It's the first year we did it. I mean, obviously, you know, depending, I mean, I think that's scheduled to be like June 9th to 12th. Yeah. So um, I think the only, only thing we're going to have issues with is we can't get some kids out of high school that early but but the plan is to take all four of our teams there so and see how far we compete and then obviously you know you know we i know i obviously you know everyone does world war bat for perfect game um and then probably my most favorite tournament is probably the usa baseball tournament in Cary, north carolina so definitely so it's going to be a extremely fun summer for you guys at artillery and of course we're going to be looking out for those rosters down at the npi and the npi is definitely one of the most anticipated events when it comes to pbr next summer Yep, for sure. So you said the strength of the 17U roster is the outfield, the strength and the pitching. The strength yep. of the 16U roster is going to be that middle infield. What about your other underclass rosters? Um, so on the 15U side, um, you know, we have a catcher who just, you know, recently committed, Thomas O'Connell. He hasn't announced it yet. So hopefully he'll put that out there today. Um, you know, that team's a fully uncommitted roster right now. I mean, we may have a little surprise and another committed player, but I'm not going to release that yet. Um, and, you know, the outfield there is strong. I mean, that group went to the round of 16 at the Freshman Worlds in October. And, you know, we were pretty much a shell of ourselves and being able to get some kids back. You know, bring in, you know, that team will be full of pitchers that, you know, can run it between 83 to 88. And maybe, like I said, to that little surprise up the 90s. So, you know, and as long as these kids play together, they get to know each other well and they have a good experience. That's what matters in all this. So definitely. So it seems like you have very well built rosters. Of course, you guys are going to be down at Lake Point for the MPI. So I'll have to check you out, hopefully. Our viewers and subscribers are going to come check you guys out as well. Is there anything else that you want to let the, the people know about Artillery Baseball? Just get ready to see us this summer. So that's <laughs> all that matters. Get ready to see them on the field. Guys, I'm Simone Stanley. We're joined today by Artillery Baseball. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.